We're almost there, folks. We're 11 subscribers away exactly from 87,000 on the channel. If you want Daily Bears content, help a brother out. I can't not be at 87,000 subs after today, so hit that sub button if you haven't already. I'm Harrison Graham. Let's get into today's rumors and shocker, more Caleb Williams rumors. I know it can be exhausting, but when new information comes in, we have to talk about it. Fox Sports. Jay Glazer, the latest national reporter to talk about the Caleb Williams situation. He said, quote, I think they're smart in how they're building. If I'm them, talking about the Bears, I take Caleb and trade Justin because then you get more salary cap relief for a bunch of years. I think it's a no-brainer. So just add Jay Glazer to the list, right? Like, it's kind of interesting at this point, and I think very notable, that not a single notable national reporter, at least that I've seen, has A, either reported that the Bears are likely going to keep Justin Fields. Now, Peter King a month ago, like right when the season ended, said he thought Ryan Poles would trade the pick, but I haven't heard his stance on that since. But other than that, Schefter, they're going to trade him. That's the expectation. Rappaport, they're likely going to trade him. Albert Breer, I'd be shocked if they didn't take Caleb Williams. Uh, and when I say trade him, Justin Fields is what I was talking about. Jay Glazer, take Caleb, trade Justin Pelissero, uh, who we'll get to in a second. The point being is, like, you see it everywhere from all the national big guys, which doesn't mean it's for sure going to happen, but it certainly feels that way. Here's Pelissero, who talked to CHGO Sports today at Super Bowl Radio Row, so good get by those guys. Uh, Pelissero said, bringing in Shane Waldron, I think that suggests to me that they – are making way for a quarterback change. And again, I think we can all at least acknowledge, regardless of what side of the fence everybody's on, that there's at least a lean here, right? Now, maybe the Bears are creating the greatest smoke screen of all time. Maybe. But I think at this exact point in time, if the Bears had to make a choice, they would draft Caleb Williams. Now, that could change at the NFL Combine either direction. It could even favor that direction more. It could go the other way if they don't like what they see. Who knows? But I do think that drafting Caleb Williams and trading Justin Fields is the most likely scenario. I don't think it's a done deal. I don't think it should be a done deal. I think the NFL Combine has to come and go as the Bears evaluate these quarterbacks in person. But after that, I'm thinking they're going to have a pretty good idea of what they're going to do. Now, coming up, an interesting nugget from Jay Glazer. He said he spoke to Caleb Williams camp directly Hear what he had to say. I thought this was pretty fascinating, but do have to tell you about Prize Picks first, as they are our sponsor, our daily fantasy sponsor here at Chicago Bears now and at Chat Sports. I am loading up my picks for Super Bowl Sunday, and to be honest, I can't wait till Sunday, so I'm getting some NBA entries going as well. Two to six player entries, you select more or less on different statistical categories. You can cross over games, you can cross over sports. But for Super Bowl Sunday, the most fun thing to do is just do a bunch of Super Bowl uh, picks here. And this is the one I'm leaning on the most. Patrick Mahomes, they're giving you a deal, half a passing yard. Take the more on that one, obviously. Isaiah Pacheco, I think he finds the end zone. I think Debo Samuel gets held in check by a good chief secondary. But Kansas City has been known for giving up decent yardage to running backs out of the backfield. So I do think Christian McCaffrey could take advantage of that. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS to get signed up today. That link is in the comments and in the description of this video. Prize picks, daily fantasy made easy. And go check out what celebrities are doing with their Super Bowl Sunday entries. Those are accessible right now in the Prize Picks app. So go download today. Use the code CLNS uh, to get that deposit match up to $100. Okay, here's what Jay Glazer said to Caleb Williams' camp. I don't know if he talked to Caleb directly, but here was the direct quote he said the other day. I told his people, you have a chance to go to Chicago. Go to Chicago. If you win in Chicago, they will erect bridges for you, streets for you, tunnels for you. Are you kidding me? You'll be forever golden in that city, and it's a great city. He's absolutely right. Like, and just like, if everything we hear about Caleb Williams is true, like, he's got a little bit of an edge to him, he plays with a bit of arrogance and an ego which I think you should want out of your quarterback to a certain extent, it's got to be the right amount, then shouldn't he want to embrace 
the Bears' history of they have never had a great quarterback and say, I'm going to be that dude. Like, And by the way, forget the, un, the chance at an unmatched legacy in Chicago behind, which is a great reason to want to come here. This is a good opportunity from an on-the-field standpoint. I know it doesn't seem like it because this is the Bears, but you've got D.J. Moore in place. Cole Komet's a top-10 tight end in this league. This offensive line is young and ascending. This defense is good and could be great depending on offseason moves. It's emerging. Like, this is not your typical number one pick situation that a quarterback is walking into thinking this is going to take at least a couple of years. This should be a playoff team next year, regardless of who the quarterback is. If you keep Justin Fields and you trade down and get more assets, it really better should be because you're adding that much more talent. If you draft Caleb Williams, hey, fair or not, rookie, hey, they're making the change at quarterback. That means you should expect more, right? Like that That's my expectation, at least. I'm not expecting a Super Bowl from a rookie, but like this should be a playoff team next year. You've got a ton of cap space. You've got a good receiver. You've got a good tight end. You've got a good young offensive line that's probably going to add at least a good center, maybe another piece. Like the defense is going to be top 10. Like there's no reason why um, this isn't an exciting opportunity for a young quarterback, whether that's Justin Fields getting a fourth season, Caleb Williams, or another rookie. Uh, I think whoever it is should embrace this opportunity. Now, will the Bears make the playoffs in 2024? Go ahead and chime in down in the comment section below. Type Y for yes, or you can type in for no. They better, man, because if not, Matt Eberflus, uh, his seat is going to be very, very hot. Let's talk about the other quarterback, uh, Justin Fields. Does he have good trade value? Adam Schefter the other day said he thinks it'll be for sure a second-round pick, maybe a first. Jay Glazer also believes he has good trade value. Here's what he had to say about the Bears' current quarterback. He said, I think you can get a lot for Justin Fields. Listen, when you don't have a quarterback in this league, life is terrible. We know that in Chicago. So I think people would be offering a lot for Justin Fields. Now, is a lot a two plus more picks? Is it a first? Is it more than that? I can't imagine it'd be like a first and a second. Like I think if you get a first, it's probably just a first. But I think multiple picks with a two or potentially a first, depending on the team. I know this. Justin Fields upgrades several teams. Several teams. Pittsburgh, upgrade. Atlanta, upgrade. I don't think he's going to go to Vegas because of Luke Getze being there, but he'd be a clear upgrade there over Aiden O'Connell or Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, I think there are several situations with aging quarterbacks like Geno Smith. Hell, how about the Rams? Sit behind uh, Matthew Stafford, get coached by Sean McVay for a year, be ready in 2025. Like There are a lot of good opportunities out there where Justin Fields could play and play well and upgrade teams or sit behind a vet for a year, then reset his career. There's going to be trade interest. Don't be surprised if there is. And uh, I think teams are going to come calling. Now, give me a number. How much would it hurt to trade Justin Fields? Ten being it would hurt more than any uh, anything else you could imagine and when it comes to sports. One being not at all uh, good riddance, which that is not me, by the way. There's no doubt it would hurt. Like, even though I, I've admitted I'm leaning in the camp of drafting Caleb, I think resetting the clock, I think the upside, I think the high floor, um, while acknowledging that there are good avenues if you keep Justin Fields. But even if I'm in the lean Caleb camp, it would still hurt because he has not gotten the fair shake here in Chicago. There's no doubt about it. But here's the reality, and Justin Fields acknowledged this late in the season when he was asked about this stuff. Look, life isn't always fair. That's just you have to deal with the punches. It is Ryan Pohl's job to act without emotion here, period, end of story. Like, he can't think in the back of his head, oh, man, this is going to be painful to tell Justin or to tell the city we're trading this quarterback that loves him. Like, you got to do what you think is best for this team. That, that, that's the job. That is the job. And you get caught up in the emotions of this stuff, that's how you lose a job within 12 months, 18 months. So whatever he thinks is logically the best move, that's the move I expect him to make. So we'll see what that move is. I don't – me saying all that, that doesn't necessarily mean trading Justin Fields is the unemotional correct move. Maybe keeping him is the unemotional correct move. I don't know. I'm just saying whatever the unemotional correct move is, that's Ryan Pohl's job to get that right. And that correct or incorrect decision will likely dictate his fate long-term as this team's GM. 
All right, guys, appreciate you for tuning in to tonight's show. We'll be back tomorrow with another video or two, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to hit 87,000 subs. See you next time. Thank you.